have to tolerate your opposing views on everything. So here we go. It's time for Jesse. Come and gather around. Hello, Internet. You might notice I'm not in the corner over there. I'm on the couch. Uh, that is because I'm going to open toys on camera. But first, I do want to go over some quick news that happened recently that I find interesting. The news I want to talk about is the inclusion of Kingdom Hearts things in Disney Infinity 3.0. Uh, the ultimate unlock this time around is a Keyblade. For those of you who don't know, the ultimate unlock is when you buy everything for the game and you put it in the game and then you get a thing. The first game was a lightsaber, the second game was a land speeder. This time it's going to be Keyblade. This is the first non-Star Wars unlockable. I've been wondering, myself, what are they going to do for 4.0? I mean, 2.0 added Marvel, 3.0 added Star Wars. What else can Disney add? Kingdom Hearts, I guess. At D3, they, had, uh, they gave out 5,000 uh, little uh, discs that you put, if you put on the thing, you get like a little extra thing. In this case, it's a Kingdom Hearts costume for Mickey Mouse. Uh, no one was able to go to D23, so how they were? You can only get—they're not going to sell them. You can only get them at D23. So collectors were like, Ugh. I, "I did get one though." I uh, eBay. But enough about my financial shortcomings. Uh, let's go over the toys. Toys. Alrighty, we're starting with Mickey Mouse. Ooh, cool. There's Mickey. Ooh, I like the tail. That's cool. And uh, the card. Next is Minnie Mouse. in there. Card. There she is. Mm -hmm. Now for the Best Buy exclusive Mulan. I was really looking forward to this one. This is one I've been wanting for a while. Oh man. Ooh, the dress looks really nice. Okay, now it's time for Flynn. I am. Uh, guys, so why did they cancel Tron 3? Like, yeah, Tron Legacy wasn't the greatest thing, but it was still pretty good. It was a little derivative. It was a little derivative. Still, it was cool. The action was cool. Special effects were nice. Daft Punk was involved. Freaking Tomorrowland. Here he is. It's like he's standing on a big uh, disc. On those D discs, whatever they're called. I forgot. Cora. Yeah. The actress who played Cora is married to Jason Sudeikis. I can't remember her name though. I like the detail on this. Looks good. Very cool. This on the back. She's using the sword. Now last but not least. Yoda, the first uh, Star Wars character I got. <clears throat> Ooh, look at that. Definitely has the cartoon show look. It's cool. Alright, so some of you might be noticing, hey, what about the... Uh, Anakin and Ahsoka, they come with the game. I didn't get the game. Yeah, I don't really plan on getting the game. Uh, maybe if it goes down in price a lot or something, but uh, eh, I don't think I need it. 
The figures are cool. I might get the next one next year, 4.0, but I can't be buying these every year. It's ridiculous. The figures, though, yeah, but they work on every ver they work on every sequel. So why do I need this one? <sighs> okay, so now everyone needs to pair up with their shelf partner. Got these two, of course. Uh, these two only make sense if Mario and Mickey are together. Mm -hmm. They're both princesses. They both have to pretend to be guys for a while. And this one's pretty straightforward. Yoda, Yoshi, it even sounds the same. This one's kind of a stretch. Uh, they both have computer stuff. This is classic Tron, this would be easier, but he's not he's not in the game, so. Yeah, these guys. As for Korra, unfortunately, uh I haven't decided who to pair up with. Probably one of the Mies, because she's like an artificial life and the Mies are kinda like artificial. I don't know. I'll I'll think about it. The camera's kinda tilted. So you go. Open all these toys. We talked about some news. Uh I got the rub in everyone's face, I got this thing. Yeah. I can't use it though, because again, I don't have the game. So, so yeah, that was this week's uh, toy openings. Uh, I'm gonna be doing probably more because uh, Lego Dimensions comes out next month, and I'm, I've been really looking forward to that one. And then, of course, before that, there's gonna be more Amiibos released. And in between the new Amiibos getting released on the 11th of September, and LEGO Dimensions coming out at the end of the month. Uh, we're actually going to get even more Disney Infinity figures. So, I... Uh, Mysterious as the dark side of the moon.